Hey Fairview, happy Thursday. We're continuing through the book of Psalms. Today we're in Psalm 97. I'd encourage you to open up your Bible uh, and, and have this in front of you as I read through it and, and as we meditate on it together. But I'm going to say a quick word of prayer. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that you've given us your word. You've given us the examples of prayers and promises. Uh, I pray that as we look at your word, as we meditate on it, as we consider it, that uh, it would be working in our hearts to produce fruit. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Psalm 97, starting with the first verse. The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, let many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes up before him and burns up all his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world and the earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. All worshipers of images are put to shame, who make their boast in worthless idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth, for you were exalted far above all gods. O you who love the Lord, hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. As we examine the scripture of praise, there's this challenge uh, to the enemies of God to humiliate themselves, to humble themselves, and to, to repent. But there's also this worship saying no matter what happens, we are, uh, God is going to be glorified in spite of all of the different circumstances. And when his justice comes, it will ultimately be for his glory and all his people will rejoice in that justice. And as we look around, there's plenty of evil in our world today. We, uh, because Jesus has died for us, we, we want to see mercy extended to those people, but God will bring justice, whether uh, uh, directly to the person or through Jesus on the cross, we can celebrate knowing that God has brought and will bring complete and total justice. We can worship, we can hear and be glad, just like Zion, uh, in, in the knowledge that God will accomplish his purposes. He will do good to those who love him. He preserves the lives of his saints. So we have the knowledge that he is going to preserve us, take care of us, care for us in this life and in the life to come. And I, I pray that that would be the meditation of your heart this week. Have a good Thursday, Fairview.